Hi, I'm Alex, the founder of Boathouse. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you what Boathouse can do for you. The main part is the customer portal that's ready-made done for you that connects to your Paddle account. Here, your customers can manage anything that is subscription related. They can see what plan they're on, what it costs, when it's going to renew, update their payment information or their billing information, and of course, download all the invoices for this account. They can also change to a different plan. These plans that you see here are configurable, and you can also see some of our advanced options. Here, we're showing an annual plan as a monthly breakdown. You can also, if you don't want to show per month, but you'd like to show per user per month, adapt the text that is added here. And we also have options where the plans need a certain minimum quantity. And you can see that configured here, for example. If they do change a plan, they will receive a preview of the upcoming charge or the immediate charge if there is any. And in this case, we can see it's a credit because I'm downgrading to a smaller plan. But I can also see what I'm going to be play, paying going forward. Same thing for quantities. You can, of course, increase the quantity if that's enabled in the portal and see a preview of what is changing for your account. And last but not least, we have the cancellation flows. So if you cancel, you can ask the user for the cancellation reason. You can even ask follow-up questions to certain aspects or certain answers they give. But you can also offer the option to pause the subscription instead, where you give them a selection of months, again, configurable instead of cancelling. The second big part is our pricing tables. These are pricing tables that you can embed in your marketing site, for example. These are configured in Boathouse and use the same data as you have in the customer portal. Talking of configuration, let's have a look at that briefly. Here you can see the portal configuration, starting with the portal URL that you can change to a subdomain of your product or company domain. You can see all the settings that you can add. You can add a privacy policy, terms of service to your portal, add some branding, logo, and so on. Then we have the product-specific or the business-specific settings that you can choose I'm constantly adding features here based on feedback, based on what customers need. And down here, you can see the cancellation settings that we've configured for this portal. If we head over to the pricing table, what you can see here is a selection of the plans from your Paddle account or from the Paddle account that's connected here. You can select which ones are active at the moment, but users or your users can be on legacy plans. Now, the portal will show you what plan you're on and show the correct pricing for that plan. But if you change the plan, you'll only be able to change to a active plan. By default, the pricing tables or the portal will take the information that you've configured in Paddle, so the name, the description, and so on. But if you want a more advanced view, for example, for the pricing table that we saw before, you can customize this view and it will basically just show this information here instead of the Paddle information, but pricing still comes from Paddle, whatever is configured there. And this includes localized pricing. So if you have automatic currency conversions activated or country overrides for the prices, the pricing tables and the portal will automatically reflect that. And then there's a number of options that you can have here. If you want an enterprise plan where there's no price displayed, uh, you can add that and it'll say call us, for example, or you can add styling or you can add a special tag such as uh, recommended and it'll show the recommended tag at the top right here. Let's have a quick look at the email functionality. With Boathouse connected to a Postmark account, you can add certain additional options. For example, you can provide your users with an additional email address that all invoices gets copied to. This is useful for accounting purposes, for example. You can send reminder, reminders for when the credit card is about to expire or if the plan is going to renew, but you can do this by 
plan. So for example, if you don't want to send reminders for monthly subscriptions, that's fine. You just activate them for an annual plan. And then we have a basic email sequence trick campaign in there as well. So if you're creating a new customer in Paddle and you want to start an email sequence, you can do that with Boathouse as well. That's Boathouse for you, the done-for-you customer portal if you're using Paddle. I'm here for any questions or any feedback. Contact me via the homepage at any time. Thank you.